Derek Craig here from New Day Outdoors Productions and Magnus Broadheads. Spring turkey season around the corner. We get a lot of questions about the Magnus Bullhead. It's a head chopping broadhead, four turkeys, head and neck only. It'll bounce off the body. We've done a lot of videos out there on tuning. There's a ton of hunt videos out there, tips and tricks and everything that you need to know. So real quick, this is gonna be a short video on a refresher on the tuning process and what goes into it. Basically what I recommend is buying the kit, okay? The kit comes with everything you need. You get two 125, you can buy it in a 100 grain as well, but they're smaller bullheads. You get two bullhead arrows. The bullhead arrows are spined properly for your setup, okay? The key to bullheads is the spine and it really is in the arrow. These are Victory. V1, 300 shafts, four fletch on them, and they fly great, okay? So there are a few tips and tricks we're gonna go over here real quick. So every pack comes with a DVD. It's got a full, what we call setup to success on it. It's basically a about half an hour long video that tells you, starts you from nothing to the end process. It should answer 98, 99% of any questions, any issues you have, so it'll take care of you. It's also got some hunts on there and uh, some other information so check it out it also comes that DVD comes with just the bullheads itself without even if you buy them without the arrows you can also go to the Magnus Broadheads YouTube channel and check out those videos again set up for success is a series okay basically that's the kit so where do we start all right so let's talk targets for the Magnus bullheads basically you want a free hanging pillow this is just a cheap pillow. I went down to the dollar store, bought a two pack for six bucks. That's all you need. You don't need anything fancy at all. Uh, they last you quite a while. You can actually repair them when they get torn up by taking clear packing tape. You can put them in a, uh, in a pillowcase um, and hang them. Just buy the cheapest pillowcase you can. It works, done it that way for years. Again, clear packing tape, wind it around. You can repair your holes because you'll tear them up pretty fast. What I've started doing though here in the last year or so, We've actually started going to feed sacks. Um, these are kind of a plastic, kind of nylon, plastic woven type of material. Um, this is from goat feed, but cattle feed, dog food a lot of times comes in them. I wouldn't do the paper ones, but these are, again, more of that nylon, plasticky weave stuff. It seems to hold up shot to shot longer. You'll go through them. Again, they're cheap, if, especially if you know somebody who's got livestock or you do. It's like free, so just use them, shoot them up. You can repair them with clear tape too. So basically that's it. You're gonna take your uh, pillow, just like it with a big pillowcase. Stuff it down in there, and then basically free hang it. So we're gonna free hang it. This is an old stand I made years ago for uh, paper tuning and everything else. It works out real good. It's just inch and a quarter PVC pipe. You can use inch, inch and a half, two inch, whatever you got. These little clamps or the spring clamps had them for years. They sit outside get rusted. I really don't care So basically you're just going to hang this up Basically like that so now you got a free hanging sack so when that Bullhead hits it it absorbs all the energy. Okay another uh, plus to these feed type sacks is that you can put like sticker dots like you'd buy for 22 targets or whatever and they stick a little bit better than they do on the pillowcases so you can stick that on there gives you a point of aim or you can paint a dot on or take a sharpie marker and draw on it whatever you want to do but it works out pretty good basically i shoot the 125 grain heads okay so i'm going to start tuning my bow this is a v1 arrow right here and uh, the same shaft and everything. You can see there's four feathers on it. It's the exact same shaft that you get in the kit. I throw a 125 grain field tip on it, okay? I'm not a big believer in paper tuning. There's lots of pros and cons out there. Everybody will give you their opinion. I don't paper tune. I personally do a walk back tune. That's up to you how you tune your bow. There are tons of videos out there on how to properly tune a bow, whether it's paper, walk back tuning, French tuning, yeah, uh, bare shaft tuning, there's all kinds of methods. I'm not gonna go over that stuff. But what I'm gonna show you is, we're gonna go from the field tip. Now, you have got to tune with the bullhead arrows. If you go with your 
let's say 400 or 350 spine deer hunting arrow that's got say little of the blazer type veins on it um, 100 grain broadhead and you're going to go shoot 125 grain bullheads on the longer arrow because you need it for your uh, riser clearance your sight clearance and everything else it's probably not going to work so you need to start your tuning process with this arrow the one you're going to shoot bullheads on it's probably not going to work and that's probably the biggest frustration guys have is they try and use their deer hunting arrows their deer hunting broadheads and they struggle getting tuned so basically that's where you need to start okay um, you're going to go through the whole tuning process of your field points and get yourself all dialed in okay you're going to shoot 10 20 30 40 yards whatever it takes to get yourself all dialed in okay so this is going to be a field pit into the black target there on the ground upper left corner yeah I pulled it just a little bit but that's okay all right so and then what you're going to do you're going to take another bullhead arrow and you're going to take a 125 grain deer hunting broadhead this is a magnus buzz cut i actually paint it orange because this is a practice head for me that way I'm, i can always use i've got a couple practice heads i paint them i can use them go back to them and i don't have to worry about messing up the edge on a on a brand new blade so you're going to take and put if i can quit shaking you're going to put that on should use a broadhead wrench. This is a very dull broadhead because it's been in a lot of targets over the years. So I use this. Make sure everything that broadhead spins true. Okay. It really doesn't matter what brand. Buy a quality one that spins true. Obviously, I want you to buy a Magnus uh, because we dial in and spin check all of our heads to three thousandths of an inch for the true tip run out to center line. So you're going to get a good spin. But basically, put on a good fixed blade broadhead. Okay. You want that and you want to tune this now. Okay. To your or tune your bow to this broadhead okay basically anytime you have a fixed blade broadhead those uh those blades act like wings okay so that's why we recommend tuning then with a deer hunting broadhead it's a step up to from field tip up to the bullhead if you go from field tip to bullhead you can do it but you might have a little more frustration especially if you're using a, a bow that's a shorter axle to axle higher speed bow maybe you're pulling 70 pounds or whatever you're gonna, your tune's gonna be a little more finicky when you get to the bullheads okay so that step process helps okay so basically oops I'm gonna go the upper right dot and fuzz high a little left okay but that's all right it's all me it's been a long winter i haven't shot a lot so it's fine i'm cool with it all right so now we're going to go to the bullheads we're going to use our hanging target okay my bow's pretty dialed in i was actually shooting last night 30 and 40 yards and i'm shooting cold here tonight so one take i always do everything one take so all right so basically here's a brand new bullhead right here okay Brand new out of the package. Big wicked head chop. Whack goes his head. They're awesome. I'm gonna use one I use for practice though. Um, I like to save the brand new ones because turkey season. I'm heading to Kansas in a few days, so this one's just one that I've shot a bunch of times, and and I want to save that brand new one for go and chopping turkeys' heads off. So screw it in. Now one tip in between shots on your bullheads. Like if you're practicing, there's a little Phillips screw here. It's a number one Phillips screwdriver, okay? It's not a little dinky one, it's a number one. So your typical Phillips screw is a number two, this is a number one, then you get into the little micro ones. You don't want those. Number one Phillips screwdriver. Every time you shoot, after you shoot and you come back, you're gonna shoot again, just snug those down. They really don't loosen up too much unless you do shoot three or four or five times without snugging them back up. You can loosen blades up, but it'll definitely help you out, okay? So, you know, make sure you watch your, your blade orientation depending on what kind of sight you have. If you're using a really large ring, ring sight, when you come back at full draw, you can get into it. That's part of the reason we use the, the longer arrows, but I have this bow, bow set up that I can have the blades, you know, basically any position. So, all right, so we're gonna take basically the same shot and we're gonna go for the little dot there in the middle of the goat. 
So here we go. Perfect bullseye. Uh, get my cam out of the way so you can see that. Perfect bullseye. I got the little GoPros up there so you'll be able to see that. It will put it back in slow motion. So basically that's it. Now I don't focus on 30, 40, 50 yard shots with bullheads. I can do it. I've done it before. I have videos out there of 40 and, and 50 yard shots. Um, I don't do a lot of long range shooting anymore. And honestly for me, I kill turkeys at 10 yards or less. Um, I've killed a ton of turkeys with bullheads and only ever killed one more than 10 yards. Most at six to eight yards. So I tend to focus my practicing at 10 to 20 yards. Um, again, I'm focused on, on hopefully a 10 yard or less shot, but I like to know I'm on at 20. And you know, in the right conditions, I can go out there still in my getting an older age and, and shoot them out there at 40 or 50 yards. But pick a night with like tonight, there's like no wind, it's nice and cool. It's quiet tonight. So you get on a real windy day and, and just like any other uh, broadhead, you know, that wind can affect flight. So pick yourself a nice calm day, get out there and enjoy it. But basically you can see, um, you know, you dial everything in and, and you'll drill turkeys all day long. You got that big forgiving blade, that big area and everything. So they're awesome. Get your Magnus bullheads at magnusbroadheads.com. Also you can buy them at the majority of your major outlets, Amazon, you know, online. There's, you know, all kinds of bow hunting shops online that you can buy these things from. I'd advise you to buy the kit. If you already got the arrows, then yeah, buy some... Uh, some bullheads alone, uh, they sell the blades. Remember, all Magnus broadheads have a 100% no questions asked lifetime warranty. Basically, you bend, break a blade, and you're going to, you're gonna bend and break some with these bullheads. You practice enough, maybe you shoot a turkey, you bust a blade, but hey, if you kill them, who cares? All you gotta do is snap a photo of it with your cell phone, email it off to Magnus, and they're going to send you a replacement free of charge. No postage, no BS, no garbage, nothing. Free. You can't get a better deal than that right there. So, um, you know, again, you're going into turkey season. This isn't really bullhead, but it's related. Pick up the bow pod right here. Infinitely adjustable. These legs let you set your bow down in the blind with your arrow knock. You can sit there all day and wait. Bird comes in, pick up, boom. But yeah, these legs, they screw in and out. You got a fe female, this one's a male, the other one's a female. You can screw them together, put them in your quiver, just like an arrow, and you're good to go. I think the retail price on those is, uh, I believe, $24.99. Man, that's like some of the cheapest money you can uh, spend here in, in 2018. So get them, check them out. Again, magnusbroadheads.com. See us on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Hashtag, if you kill something this year, hashtag it with decapitation nation or neck wrecker. Those are kind of our keys that we, we key in on. So bullhead to the forehead. We like these catchphrases, but hashtag decapitation nation. So join this year. So God bless. If you got any questions, uh, look us up online. We're on all the social media. That's probably any more the best way to get a hold of us. Send us emails, do whatever. We can't wait to see your videos. Send them in. Maybe you could win uh, some bullheads or, or be featured in one of our upcoming uh, videos that we have that go out. You know, we do all these flash kills. So God bless. Be safe this year. Enjoy your turkey season. I hope everybody tags out on a big old long beard this year.